by Kartari Kritta, it will be in the Kartariyarthi, in the agent, sense of agent. So 3467 is Kartari Krit, Kartari So that we get the we get the form Bodhati Iti Buddha. Bodhati Iti Buddha. One one who understands, one who knows. Of course in the Pratyaka, the Shakvata Dite, Anubanda Lope, Akara Vishishate, and Kitvat, because the Kit Pratyha, the we do not we do not do the guna of the Ukara here because the Pratya was Kit, so because of the Sutram Kinitichah. In this Saturday's class, we will have the Sutram Kinitichah. So we'll get the daily examples coming from next week. We'll have this covered. So the Sutram Kinitichah says that if there is a Pratya which is Git, Kit or Nyat, and this, it cannot do any Guna Vriddhi of the Ik. But Iko Guna Vriddhi, that, that Vriddhi, Guna Vriddhi cannot be done by Pratya which is Kit, Git or Nyat. So then we get the form Buddha. So Bodha Titi Buddha. Now this from Sampadvipade, we had in the last slide itself, we again, to two classes back we had made a mistake, which occurred in the last class, is remember this sutram, which is at the beginning of last class, we did this, in the Samasa Antra Prakaranam, there is only one sutram for the Dvandva Samasaha, so only one sutram, which is the uh, 5, 4, I think 106 it is, 5, 4, 106, 5, 4, 106, 5, 4, 106, which says, Dhanva chu the sha hantat samahare. Dhanva chu the sha hantat samadhare. Dhanva sama sending the cha vargaha or dakara or the moves in a shakara or hakaraha. In that case, what happens is that we get the uh, pratya touch. Pratya touch. Vachutu hanantyam anubandalo piyakaraha. So basically, when, when these, these samahara dhanva is ending these letters, the cha varga, Dakara, Bhuzan, Shakara, Hakara, and Thai gets the touch Pratyaha. So it becomes a Sampad Vipada, Sampad Vipada. Uh, now last time we had the example of Vipada, Pada, very similar, very similar uh, to this one. Nothing very different. You get all the same steps we did last time, the same, 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 all the steps this time also. Only important thing is the Sutram 54106, 54106. Now the... Um, the only question that is small question here is the, is the nipataha, the purva nipataha, which is you know they have put the sampad has gone first, vipad has gone second. So as usual, we have to check these rules about dvandvegi, dvandvegi, ajad yadantam, ajad yadantam, and alpachtaram. Now sampad and vipad, nothing has the gisanya. They are not ajadi. Alpashtaram also, Stampad, Vipad have both, you know, two ach each. Um, so, um, there is no, but there is this Vartikam, which is Lagvaksharam Purvam. Lag Lagvaksharam Purvam, which is a Vartikam on that. Let's go to Siddhanta Kamudi Dakam, which we've been following. The Siddhanta Kamudi, um, it's, uh, if you look at the Siddhanta Kamudi, Charthe Dvandvaha, here it is, uh, Alpashtaram. There is Lagvaksharam Purvam, so Kushakasham. So now what happened in the word Sampad, because of Sanyoge Guru, Sanyoge Guru, that, that Akara, the Sakara Uttarvarti Akaraha, Tasya Guru Sanya uh, Vidyate. That, that's the so word Lagvaksharam Purvam. So looking at that, you know, this Vipad should have probably gone first. Then you know, how do we justify, how do we justify this form, this Sampad? First of all, it's a Vatikam. It's not a sutram, it's only a vartikam. It's not a critical, we can probably bypass that. Yeah, and this, you know, this entire Purdue path prakranam is anityam. These rules are not, in, these particularly vartikani, they are not strictly for the language everywhere. But we have one more way out. What we could say then is we can look at this, uh, this another vartikam under the same same sutram, which says that um, abhyarhitancha, abhyarhitam, that's which is more important. Now, sampad is prosperity. Vipad is adversity. So, Sampad, Vipad with the word, you know, prosperity, adversity. So then in that case, one can argue that prosperity should come is, you know, is a, you know, Mangalava Chaka Shabdaha. So it, it, it's an auspicious, it's a, it's a better word. So maybe, maybe Abhyaritam Chama help us out. So we have to justify in some way. But just using, using only Vyakaranam, you would have had Lagvaksharam Purvam. Seems to be the one which will come over here. They both have two arch, so that will not be effective. That will not give us any 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 decision. Lagvaksharam puram vipad that ikara is lagu. 
Sampad Yakara is Guru because Sanyogi Guru. So again, in the, in the last Saturday class, we did the Sanyas. So please follow these examples coming to you every day. There is a backbone of all these classes, these daily examples. If you can follow these, uh, you can see we had the Guru Sanya, um, the Guru Sanya, the Yirga Sanya, all these discussions, all in, the, in coming in your daily examples. So please follow them. Um, anyway, so so right now what we're looking at is this form Sampad Vipad. It's probably Vipad should have come first because we is Laku Aksharam, but we can use Abhyaritam Cha, that which is more important, you know, goes first. So we can just put over here the uh, two two thirty four. Abhyaritam Cha is the Vartikam. One last point in this example. This is a very straightforward example. Anyway, so two two thirty four Vartikam is uh, Abhyaritam Cha. Abhyaritam Cha. So that's the one Abhyaritancha that we can use to justify. So you can always use Abhyaritancha. If, if, if these if these rules don't work, then you can you can we can come down and, and use the use the Vartikam. Of course when we compose we should try to follow the rules as closely as possible. But if you find the usage like that, we can we can justify that. If we, even if that doesn't work, then we can say this entire Purunipada Prapranam is Anityam. That's the last last. But it's only Shishta Prayoga. Shishta Prayoga is Pramanam. So that ultimately it is that. So okay. So now the last thing comment on this example is this word Sampad and Vipad. So now that again we are coming to the end of our you know this this book now, where we have learned so many things. We can practice if in the class we can take all of them. You can do practice some of them on your own is the word sampad and vipad, you know, these are feminine nouns. So normally we have, we have the adhikara of striyam, striyam, striyam tin. And a striyam tin there is a vartikam, which puts the kip pratyaha, so 3394. Again, this is not today's topic, this is not today's topic, but in case you're wondering how the word sam, because when you're forming any feminine noun, always think of striyam tin, that's the utsargaha. Striyam tin is utsargaha, 3394, striyam tin. But there's a vartikam here, so sampad adibhya kvip vaktavya. The word sampad vipad apad etc. They can take the kvip pratyaha to form a feminine noun. So sampad adibhya kvip. So this is the vartikam on 3394 striyam tin. So if you see a kvip pratyaha being used to form a feminine noun for dhatu, then this, this vartikam can help you out. It is sampad adibhya kvip. Sampad adibhya kvip. But if you know the sutram striyam tin, which you should know, that's a D4 pratyaya for forming a feminine noun. Then if that sutram has not been followed, then you can come, this, this triyam adhikara is a short adhikara. It only goes from 3394 to 33112. So you know, there are only about um, 19 rules over there. So you can easily try to come back, come here and see what's, what's going on. So, so formation of feminine nouns should be very straightforward. So there are only 19 rules. Of course, there might be some unadi pratyaya coming, that's different. Anyway, right now we can use the, I just thought of this, Vartikam Sampad Adibhya Kvipta. So the word um, that we have in the example right now, which is Sampad and, and Vipad, can use this Vartikam, Sampad Vipad. Uh, so Sampad and Vipad. So some, Sampad, excuse me, uh, one second, Sampad Vipad, Sampad Adibhya Kvipta. Some, any, any new Sutram, any new Vartikam, Please repeat many, many times so that that kind of sticks in your head. So sampad and vipad can be formed with the uh, 3394 striyam tin vartikam. And the more you use these sutras, these vartikani, you will give you more confidence to, you know, use the ashtadhyay system more and more. So sampad adivyakvip, sampad adivyakvip. Okay, I think the straightforward example. So final meaning is that the wise man is indifferent, is unmoved in in prosperity and adversity, straightforward. Okay, now the next one is the Raja Rajnyo Prasadam Matyajatam Iti Kotra Pratyaha. Let's begin, maybe get make it Hindu to start. Try this one Hindu, try this one Hindu. Yes, sir. We'll do Padacheda first. Um. Raja Rajnyo. Raja Rajnyo, correct. No. That's, the one. That's the one. Prasadam Matyajat. Atyajatam iti. Atyajatam. Atyajatam iti. Iti. Ko, kaha atra pratyaya. Kaha atra pratyaya. So, so here it is the, what is the thing we can, we can feel that first here. Uh, 
Atyajatam. 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 Okay, Atyajatam. So, of course, this is a lang lakaraha. It is the Pratham Purushaha Dvivachana. This has all been covered to you again in the daily examples. We will go pretty fast now. Lang lakaraha, what sutram for lang is what? Anadyatane lang. Anadyatane lang. Anadyatane lang. See, even though we are going fast, you should make sure you understand these rules very well. It's anadyatane lang. The bhute adhikaraha, starts in jashtra, the point is starts in 3284. Bhute, in that sutram anadyatane lang. Anadyatane lang. If it's the past tense not of today, and if it's not parokshe, parokshe comes lit, otherwise lang comes. So 32111 as usual anubandha lopaha and then by the tip tas ji pratyaya is going to be it's going to be tas tas pratyaya so 3 to anajyatane lang 3 to 1 1 1 pratyaya becomes tas now what is the tam adesha by what sutram tas tas tam ipam tam 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 tas tas tam ipam tam 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 tas tas tam ipam tam 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 if you think nitlakara is there then these yatha sancham you get these four substitutions as I mentioned to you many, many times, this 3478 is a set of rules, not a single rule. The moment you apply 3478, do not leave it until you scan the remaining of 3.4 to see if there is any latara sambandhikaryam, because these are nitya karyani. Nothing can stop these. Nothing can stop these. The moment 3478 is applied, all these rules are to be applied immediately before you go to the angakaryam and etc. So don't leave, don't leave this 3478. And as Hindu said, the sutram here is the is tas tas tamipam tam tam tamaha. Anurutya nita is coming down from here. Nitlakaraha, these four pratyas, tas, tas, tha and mip become tam, tam, tha and am. So right now we have tas, tas becomes tam. So 3401. I'm just going to put the numbers here. I'm not going to put it because we don't want to spend too much time on this. 34101, 34101, so 34101. Okay, then the adda, then last thing is that of course the pratyaya shap is going to come, kartari shap, nothing special there. And so tyajya tam, and the ending makara of tam is not an it, nagavakta utusmaha, nagavakta utusmaha, so you can put that here itself, which is one, three, four. And then finally adda agamaha, because lung lung rung shvarudattaha, three, four, seventy one. So we will not spend more time on this because this should be already known to you from daily examples. If not, you can go and revise over there. Atyajata means two of them. Two of them abandoned the palace. Prasadam clearly is vitya ekvachanam ramavat amipurvaha. So prasadam is vitya ekvachanam. That's the karma of the dhatu chaj. And iti ends the quotation. Iti is an avyayam. The moment you see an iti, always stop and ask, where does the quotation begin? Iti could include one letter, it could include the whole book. So when you in the Gita we say that Bhagavad Gita, Supanishad, so that we include the whole chapter of the Gita. May all meet the Upanishad include the whole Upanishad. You know, so so like in Gita, Kathametad Vijani, Samadho Proktavaniti, Samadho Proktavaniti. Many, many examples in Gita, many examples. Bottom line is that when you see, when you see a Chapter 4 of Gita, always keep touch, touch, touch in Gita, this, this, can be a, this can be a homework for you. A good homework for you is that go through Gita, spot every iti in the Gita, and try to see if you can put the open quotes in the right place. It's a very simple, simple homework, you know, one simple homework for you. Is go through the Gita, take every iti. Now 99% of the time, it, it, iti ends the quotation. Once in a while, iti might be in the middle of the quotation. Uh, um, like in the Ramayana, which you're doing in the Saturday class, we have this this famous, you know, Prasiddham Vakyam of Sri Hanuman. He says that, Drishta Sita Iti Tattvataha, Drishta Sita Iti Tattvataha. That's in Bala Ramayana, it's a very, very famous shloka in Bala Ramayana. So Sri Hanuman, when the first thing he, when he comes back from from Lanka, he tells Sri Rama, Drishta Sita Iti Tattvataha. It's one of which could be one of the rare cases where the it is not at the end of the quotation. But the meaning that you want is, I have really seen Sita. I have really seen Sita as meaning. So it should be, Tattvataha, Sita, Tattvataha, Drishta, Iti. But in the Ramayana we have, Drishta, Sita, Iti, Tattvataha. So that's a rare instance where the it intervenes the quotation. And that is, you know, 
uh, happens only once in a rare while. Most of the time, it ends up like here in Gita, tamado proktavan iti. So here, the, what's in the quotation is tam ado proktavan. So this is, uh, this is anyway Gita. A lot of examples in Gita. So here iti is straightforward. Here the quotation starts from here. Raja rajnyo prasadamat yajyatam iti. So the entire sentence prior is in quotation. So now um, and then that 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 inside the iti is a separate sentence. Separate sentence. So Raja Rajnyo is like Nadyo, which is the Pratama Divachanam. Pratama Divachanam, like Nadyo, is nothing special. Raja Rajni, Raja Rajni plus Pratya Au. And here we have, first we have the Pratama Pura Savarana coming, but then um, we have the Dirgha Jasicha, so it stops the Pratama Pura Savarana. You should be practicing all these rules. Please practice, practice, practice all these rules. You have Raja Rajni plus Au, just like Nadi plus Au. First comes Iko Nachi, then comes Pratama Yoho Pura Savarnaha, that is stopped by, stopped by Dirgha Jasicha. Then you go back to Yansandi, Raja Rajnyo is, is the uh, Pratama Divachanam. So that's the subject of the sentence, Atya Jatam. It is, this part is straightforward over here. Of course, we're going to come to this compound in a second. But let's finish off this part. Kaha Atra Atra Avyam mean asmin vishaye asmin vish in this in this matter in this in this uh, uh, in this matter because we can have vishay saptami because panini only says saptam yadikarne adikarnam can be you know it can be desha adikarnam kala adikarnam vishay adikarnam it can be of, of vishaya so here in this matter atra means in this vishaya of course here all this also we have seen in the daily examples because this is the atral pratya is coming pratya atral pratya atral so this is these nice, nice uh, avyayani come in the beginning of 5.3. Again, this is not today's topic, but since we saptam yastral, saptam yastral. So this, this is what is saptam yastral. But yastral has been used. So uh, even you try this on Hindu. How do you get? How do you get this atra from Pasmitik idam? You want to try that one Hindu for me? <laughs> Don't remember. I'm, so, I'm sorry. I don't remember. You know it by the sutra. Right, I can't think of it now. <laughs> okay, you know where will you try to find this? Uh, mm. uh, maybe you know there are two places to find this one, um, which is that we one place to find is right here. Look at these three or four rules over here. Idam ish, ho this could be one place to find it. The second place to find it is that, of course, you know the sutram, you know, idamo maha andra, idamo maha, idamo maha, tadadi na maha, tadadi na maha, kimah kaha, kwati, idamo maha, dascha, yasau, iroi pumsi, anapya kaha, halilo paha. Remember the sutram, anena, how you get the word anena? Right, right, right. Yes, so that's, so these are who you have to practice, practice, practice these rules. So, so Hali Lopaha, one more thing to remember is that, again, we're sidetracking too much. I don't want to spend too much time on this. But this, these Pratyahas in 5.3 beginning have the Sanya Vibhaktihi. Pradisho Vibhaktihi. Pradisho Vibhaktihi. Pradisho Vibhaktihi. So this, um, so these Pratya up to the, even normally when you have only the Sup Pratya and Thing Pratya have the, have the Sanya Vibhaktihi. Vibhaya Sutram Vibhaktishcha, right? So Vibhaktishcha. The supratyas and the thing pratyas have the sanya vibhakti. But those are the not the only ones that have the vibhakti sanya. So sup and thing are not the only ones that have the vibhakti sanya. This section over here in 531 also um, gives sanya vibhakti for all these pratyas up to the word dish, prag disho vibhakti. So dish will come over here. Prag disho vibhakti, prag disho. See this dish, dik shabdebhya. It's up to, up to this one. These all these pratyas have to be bhakti sanya. Now why is that important? Because then, because because that sutram chadadi namaha, chadadi namaha, it is vibhaktao, vibhakta chadadi namaha, etc. So these rules can, can come over here. Which one you would like to use now? Can we use halilopaha? Halilopaha Hali should work because we have a vibhakti pratyaha, which is which is halali pratyaha. So the more that the idbhagaha. So first of all, we get we get the chadadi namaha. Chadadi namaha. Right. Then then atogone will make it either 
Gita, then it Bhagavatic Sloka becomes Atra. Atra. Now, so let's look at let's look at seven two by any chance example seven two one one three seven two one one three Hali Lopaha seven two one one three Hali Lopaha seven two one one three Hali Lopaha and we have done all these rules practice practice these one one three Hali Lopaha Hali Lopaha let's see Abhya Mebha Eshu okay Salado or not okay okay he's not giving example here he's only given um Hali Lopaha Abhya Mebha Halado Vibhakta Parataha Idamaha Akakarasya Idrupasya Lopo Vavati So it should be, should be fine, Hari Lopaha Now one of the best ways to look at the Avyayani Where would you go to a book, uh, Indu, to find, to confirm this, what we just did? Where would you go? Uh, Sir, Shastri Ji's chapter on Avyayani? Uh, maybe it will be quick, quicker, than, quicker than that, maybe? It will be shorter than that? Um. How about Avyayani? What Kosha? about... Uh, Oh, Avya Kosha, right. Ah, Avya Kosha we should, should, give, should give the derivation. Let's try. Let's go to Avya Kosha and see, and again, excuse the side tracking, but it is, uh, you know, since we are doing all this, we should, should practice this now. So, Atra. Let's see Atra, Atra, Atra in Avya Kosha. Avya Kosha, Amo, Mishram, Apushvam, This is Akara, this which is very convenient. Avya Kosha is very convenient. And these books are meant for us to read, you know. So it's not it's not to be just, you know, kept in the shelf. We should we should use these books because Acharya has spent so much time, you know, making these books for us. And so we can we can read it. We can okay, Atra Etasmin Arthe. Then he says, uh Etachabda Ash Ade Shaha Sripataha Avartika Bhashe. He says Etachabda Sapim. So you see doing from the Etachabda, not from the not from the Idam, okay? Okay, so she's doing two four, she's doing a different route, two four twenty thirty three. Such a shitwa sarvadesh tetra siddham to pata to want to come at Kasilaya Prasvasha. Yes, Aviatam Yatra. Okay. So what they're doing is she's using actually in two four thirty three. I think even ours might be fine. Ours might also be fine, but let's look at 2433 is what Avya Kosha wants to use from Etad. 2433, 2433. So 2433 is Anvadeshi Tyorsate. Etad Anvadeshi, so Anvadesha, but here. Anvadesha, Asha Desha Bhavati. Tara Tasoha Parataha. Taucha Pitrasa Anzasa Bhavataha. Etasin Grame. So Atra. Okay. So so it can be this is in Anvadeshi here then here. Anvadesh Vishesh But I think we can we can also use it. We don't need to use Anvadesh. Okay. So now this is I guess they open a can of worms now. Let me let me look at also the um so let's look at Shastiji volume five. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, in our day, it gives mm -hmm. Idam plus Trav Prakritehe Ashbhavascha. He gives he gives Ashbhavascha, is it? Okay. Yeah. Let us let us see. Saptam Yastra, let us see. Um uh, Sarvatra Tatra um Idamohaha. Um uh, Saptam Idamoha Pravatibus is Talopavadaha. In fact the Sutra is Saptam Yanta Idamaha Half Pratyabha Prasya Talopavadaha. So in the Saptam me the Idamohaha would come. In the forgot about that one, didn't we? So it has becomes Iha. So it is the um, so then atra we cannot take because this is apavada for for this one is idamohaha idamoha is, is apavada for okay see every class I learn something new <laughs> so this one so what but apte gives idam is it that, that makes makes it more mysterious now because yeah apte gives idam plus trav okay but then Ashpa. what about idamohaha what about idamohaha what about that is apavada for the for the trav iha so Idamo has Apavada for Tral. This is five three five three eleven. Five three eleven. So five three eleven is Idamaha Saptam Yantat. Talo Apavada becomes Iha. Hmm. So now why is Apte given now? See even even thing is that I mean I shouldn't say Apte is wrong, but but yeah, see these are subtle things we sometimes you know, let's look at Apte, what 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 Vasu is saying. Let's look at Apte. Uh it says here uh Atra Atra. Okay, this we spend a lot of time on Atra, but it's okay. Uh, okay, Atra, what does Apte say? Hmm. Uh, he says, Asmin, oh, he says, Etasmin Va. 
he gives also he gives idam and etadva saptam yasal prakrite he ashbhavascha but this is when when apte this is from vachaspatyam by the way when apte push tv is from vachaspatyam lot of these things brackets you know may not be original updates by the way these are not all original these are come the from the from the vachaspatyam so he says idamaha idam etadva um saptam yasral prakrite he ashbhavascha so now the thing is that, but one thing which is puzzling now is that we have apavadaha idamohaha idamaha saptam yantad hast pratya bhavati talopavadaha so i would i would not use idam let's try to use etad then but how do we get etad plus tral equals the that we can i think use this from here etado asha look at 535 etado asha etado ash 535 will work for us etado asha etado ash etado ash etado ash let's look at 535 that should i think that will do it so i think we'll avoid the idam because idamo has a pavada for this one for the for the tral pratyah etado ash is prag disha what is the word dish etadaha prag disha pratyah ash adesha bhavati shakaraha sarva atra yeah this is what we want to use atra pratyaskam atra over here so we'll use etad and do the ash adesha aneka ash sarvasya aneka ash sarva of course by halan halankyam the shakaras and it and then anubandha lope a uh, and then we use the anekash sarvasya and we get atra so let's use that let's avoid the idam even though apte gives idam i don't know about that because idamo has apavada for this saptamyastra okay so let's use uh, yeah let's let's use etad i'll just put a sutra number here so etad uh, saptamyastra saptamyastra so we will we'll use the pradipadakam etad uh, plus ni so etad plus ni Uh, etad plus ni, etad plus ni. Okay, we'll use etad, etad uh, plus the uh, ni plus the pratya tral. Of course, halanchyam, uh, halanchyam anubandha lo petra, halanchyam dasya lo paha, halanchyam dasya lo paha anubandha lo petra. The sutra we are using is saptam yastral. Saptam yastral, I think, is five three. Uh, Five three saptam yastral saptam yastral five three ten five three ten and then what we do is that we of course we'll get the form atra by using the following rules first of all the ni pratyas want to go away because it is a prajpadika sanya kutta dita samasascha kutta dita samasascha prajpadika sanya one two forty six so then supo dhatu prajpadika yo ho two four seventy one then idamo ash we just discussed about that that is 235 235 235 is idamo ash idamo ash 235 and then of course aneka ash sarvasya aneka ash this should be enough to 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 derive this from aneka ash sarvasya 1155 aneka ash sarvasya okay anyway so etasmin etasmin vishaye etasmin vishaye etasmin vishaye kah pratyaya the pratyaya is not an affix pratyaya is from prati e we say going towards prati e prati i think it is you know probably prati yate anena i would say the prati has my my i'm just making it up i think it might fit here that by which you believe something so what is the proof what is the proof in this what is the uh, let's see what object is a prati ha so so um what is the proof in this matter that the king the queen and king king and queen have left the palace what is the proof in this matter um uh, what is the how by what do we know that this is true that's pratyaya in this case um pratyaya pratyaya so pratyaya is not only like in grammar pratyaya also has this meaning of like belief um conviction settled belief a trust reliance faith confidence um conception surety what is what is certainty in this matter so uh, knowledge cognition cause ground means of action celebrity fame yeah so i would say what is what is the what is the uh, you know certainty in this matter why well, what is the, what's the proof in this matter now last thing is of course is pratyaya is the gramavat pratyaya ek vachanam kaha of course you skimah kaha skimah kaha skimah kaha chadadi namah that comes skimah kaha we won't put in document now i think all of you know skimah kaha by now so skimah kaha comes we get the um, the kha adeshah This is a uh, aneka ashi sarvasya again. Kimas kaha the entire kim is gone, becomes the. So this will be under chadadi nama. This is this is not apavada for chadadi nama. By the way, this is not an apavada for chadadi nama. 
Tadadinam only means up to the Dvi Paryantam. So Kimahkaha comes over here. Kimahkaha is, is down here, 72103. But this is just because it comes after the Tadadinamaha. It doesn't mean Kimahkaha is an Apavada for Tadadinamaha. Because the Tadadis do not include the word Kim. We include the word Kim. So very quickly, 72103 Tadadinamaha. Kimahkaha, sorry. 72103 is Kimahkaha. 103 is Kimahkaha. So Kimi Ityam Adesha Bhavati. So Kahka, okay. Now what happens is that the reason is not Apavada for Chadadi Namaha. Because Chadadi Namaha only goes up to the Dvi. Dvi Paryantam Eva Ishti is what Patanjali says. So if you look at the Chadadi Gana, you have Chad, Tad, Yad, Etajidam, Adas, Ek, Dvi. So Kim is after that. So Kim will not come under Chadadis anyway. Anyway, so we have to use Tadadi Namaha 72103 and then of course straightforward root Patya is so. Savanama Shabdam is always stop and ask which is the Nama Shabda behind it. Pratya has a Nama Shabda behind it. So what is the proof that you know the king and queen have left the palace? So now Raja Rajnyo is of course a Itritra Dvandvaha, Itritra Dvandvaha, kind of straightforward, nothing really very special over there. Pajpadim is Rajan and then because Rajan plus Su, Rajni plus Su and you get the usual but because of Pratya Lope Pratya Lakshanam, Pratya Lope Pratya Lakshanam, Rajan has the Pada Sanya even though the Su has taken look. And then that is what we require to get the no Lope of Pradipadikanta. Here, we will just put over here. So this Raja, so this has taken the, this over here, we, we need to put this one, which is Pratya Lope Pratya Lakshanam and um, Supti Gantapadam. Pratyalopi Pratya Lakshanam and then after that we can use Nulopa Padipadi Kanta. Pratya Lopi Pratya Lakshanam I think is 1162. Yeah, 1162. The Nakara of Rajan is, is dropped because of that. So, so we use uh, Subtingantam Padam, uh, Pratya Lopi Pratya Lakshanam and before that 1162, 1162 and then after that we use Nulopa Padipadi Kanta. Here straightforward. As far as, as far as the Samasa, of course, you have to use Chartya Dvandva as usual. There's only one sutra for that, Chartya Dvandva, 2229. And as about the Nipataha over here, well, normally ladies go first. That's the only little thing over here is that the Rajni has gone second. But they both have two Ach and both have a Guru Aksharam. So there's nothing, not, nothing is Ajadi, nothing is Gisanya. So I don't think anything, of the, any, I don't think the grammar rules will help us any. But yeah, I mean either way is fine, but if you look at many other samasas, ladies go first. Like I said, Jaya, so because, you know, um, when we had that, when we had that, you know, Jampati, Dampati, Jayapati, so Jayapati, husband and wife, Jayapati, you know, Par Parvati Parameshwara, Radha Krishna Abhyan Namaha, so normally ladies go first. That's the only thing that comes to my mind. Then that's, that's not Vyakaranam, that's only Abhyasitam, which is the same Vati come here. This one, which Abhyasitancha, normally works in the favor of, you know, the, 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 if it's, if it's uh, you know, a couple, then the ladies should go first. But it's okay, we have, we didn't compose this, we have this form anyway, so we can leave it as it is. So Raja Rajnyo is, is, is Kitetra Yoga, straightforward, it is Dvandva Samachartya Dvandva, so ra, Raja Cha Rajni Cha Raja, Raja Rajnyo, so Rajan plus two, Rajni plus two, so the, so the iti and the quotation, the fact that the king and queen have left the palace, what is the proof in this matter? Okay. All right, so next one is, last one in this lesson is virana magamane griha margodhya, this is a typo here. So please cut this typo, it's udhyanani, udhyanam, it's udhyanani, so this is a typo in this one. So please correct that, it should be griha marga udhyanani, griha margodhyanani like vanani, like vanani, udhyana, pradipadikam, udhyanam, udhyanam is like gardens, you know, groves, so gardens, gruha of course is house, marga is the uh, path and udhyana is the um, uh, gardens, so udhyanani, so let me correct, udhyanani, 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 uh, alangratani, alangratani, so vyukti is straightforward, which is the viranam is satni uh, bhavachanam, of course, you get the Pratyas Am, Rasvanadhyapo, Nut, Nut Agamaha, Nami Tidirgaha, 
એટલે રામવત વીરાણામ રામવત વીરાણામ સંબંધિત આગમને આઈ થિંક યુ નો ધીસ સપ્તમી ઇઝ પ્રોબલી આઈ વુડ થિંક ઇટ્સ આગમન સમય ઇટ વોઝ આઈ થિંક વોટ હી મીન્સ આગમન સમય એટ ધ ટાઈમ ઓફ ધી અરાઇવલ એટ ધ ટાઈમ ઓફ ધી અરાઇવલ આઈ ડોન્ટ થિંક ઇટ્સ ઇઝ પ્રોબલી નોટ વોટ કેન વોટ કાઇન્ડ ઓફ સપ્તમી ઇઝ ધીસ વોટ ઇઝ વોટ યુ થિંક ઇન ધ વોટ કેન ઓફ સપ્તમી ઇઝ ધીસ ઇન ધ વોટ યુ થિંક ઇઝ ઇઝ ઇટ સતી સપ્તમી is it a vishay saptami what kind of saptami is this it's not in the matter of probably not that right. i think agama, i think probably agamana samaye at the time of the arrival right at the time it makes more sense probably yeah. making this most if you take sati saptami is that agamane sati agamane agamane jate sati yeah probably through the story stretch i think agamana stress leave agamana samaye it is definitely saptami ekochanam agamanam nakum selinga prasapadikam agam is arrival So at and at, at the arrival at the time of the arrival of the heroes then this is going to be we'll, we'll talk about it in a second this is the dwandva samasa with chatte dwandva it is um now how about the graha margo dhyanani now can we how about jatira prana what do you think jatira jatira prana no thought hmm but we don't have but that we don't, right we don't have that so because graha is I don't think it's all the specific houses, mm. Marga and Udhya, they're definitely Jati. Jati is a problem. Let's put our problem. So how do we justify this form then? Because Jati is a problem, it's a Nitya Karya. Let's see, let's Anuji is here from India, let's start from Anuji. Yes, Anuji? Yes, sir, this is Namaste. You're coming quite clear. You're from India, you're coming quite clear today. <laughs> so, what do you think of the jati ra prani naam in this in this the griha marga udyanani because jati ra prani naam should have really given griha marga udyanam yeah yes hmm. i think so how do we because get around, not... how do we get around It's... this now of course we have the vibhasha available but then jati ra prani naam is nitya karyam i think that only the what thing the only way out let's go to kamudi for a second is that but your mic is very clear on this mic is very clear Really? Oh, that's yes. nice. I mean, it's crystal clear. No, no, absolutely no noise. <laughs> so, uh, good, good. Uh, here, I think the only thing that we can try now is that let's let's look at the Jatra Prani Naam. So, one thing, always go to Kamudi, see what the what the what Pachoji has to say. So, this is the Seva of Hargit Acharya, and he says Dravya Jati Naam. That's fine. We have that. I think we can use this one. Dravya Vishesha Vivakshayam Tu Badarama Lakhani. so the specific houses eh, it's a bit of a stretch because honestly this looks this looks like a jati looks like a jati he's talking about houses in general and you know streets in general and also talking about in you know, the but the way we justify this form i think we have to we have to invoke this rule now the dravya vishesha vikrakshayam to you know the itritra yoga so he's talking about these houses and these streets and these gardens which probably is not what is meant anyway but that thing that's so we can justify this itritra yoga otherwise jatira prani naam should probably give us you know the the uh, samahara okay anyway so we can use vartikam dharma vishe vishe vakshayam to uh, let me just put this in the document thank you anuji so that's good um so let's put it over here dharma vishe vakshayam to and then try to justify this form so now we're going to practice so the rest of your life when you have done the through, through the last lesson is the last example today right now for dwandva samasa the rest of your life you have this recordings and of course it's not not perfect But if you should try to try the plenty of dwandva samasa everywhere everywhere you know everywhere so you can always apply all these rules and see you know if you can test them out and they will not fit all the time you know they will not fit all the time because just like we have right now doesn't doesn't and this is supposed to be a grammar book here we are reading so if that's what's happening here you can imagine what's happening in the real world so they will not fit all, but you should know what the shastram says and this is what is given and then it's being violated then you you'll notice you know which ones get violated more often and all that so, but you can still apply your knowledge and then you know get what you should what you think the form should be this is not like mathematics this is not like subandha prakaranam thing and the prakaranam or like some or like the you know sandhi prakaranam this is going to be an art form samasas are not like that so don't expect them to be always always following all the grammar rules they will not follow all the grammar rules but many of them will and then you can also decide which of the authors really follow the grammar rules and which don't now you can be a judge of of you know which for ashta james paul which which don't so here i think we can justify it this way i think he's, he's talking about the specific set of houses and you 
know, streets and gardens, Udyana Ani. Okay, so Chatya Dandva as usual. How about the Nipata now? So what do you think Hindu, what's the Nipata rule here now? Guraha Marga Udyana, Udyana. Now the Parakaram is Alpashtaram, right? Alpashtaram, no? right. Alpashtaram, because, because Udyana is Ajaji Adantam. Uh, Udyana is actually Ajadi Adanta. So Udyana is, is Ajadi Adanta Udyana. So then we start from Dandve Ghi. Nothing as Ghi Sanya because you have Graha Marga Udyana. But Udyana is Ajadi Adanta. That would qualify. But Alpashtaram is Parakarya. So then we have the Graha and the Marga. Graha and Marga have to know because they have both have Ud. ud, ud yeah, Udhyana has, has two, three arch. Three. So we have to use Graha or Marga. Within that, Lagvaksharam is coming here. Lagvaksharam. So I, th Lagvaksharam. I think Graha should go first. That is right. because Marga has a Guru. So Dirgancha is Guru Sanya. So Graha goes first. Now, one more thing. Remember the Vartikam under this one is that, that uh, Bahushonya Maha. When you have many of them, once you decide what the first one is, the other ones, Anyamaha. So he says, so I think there is a Vartikam here, uh, Alpashtaram Shiva Gosho, I think Bahusho Niyamaha, Lagva Kusha Kasham Puru Nipato Varnanam, Yadu Varnan Nakshatranam Himanta Puru Kusha Kasham Vakishatam. Okay, it's not here. But uh, in the in the, in the the Kashika, when we look 3 3 uh, 3 3 34, Look at sorry two three two 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 thirty four. There's a vartikam. If you have more than two combining together at one time, then only the first one can be decided. The remaining is anyamaha. Anyamaha. It means come somewhere here. Alpashtaram uh, bhushvanyamaha. Bhushvanyamaha. Because you can make shankha dundupi vinaha, vina shankha dundubhayaha. So really all we can say is that Graha should be going first because it has Alpashtram in its favor also. Remaining two could actually go in any order because Bhavashwanya Maha. So if you're, if you're forming all together. Even one more thing is that we can we have a choice. We can we can form Dandva all together we can form it because of the, in Chathya Dandva, Anuvritti is coming up Anekam. You don't have to form two at a time. <coughs> you can do Anekam. So mm -hmm. all of them can be can be formed together. To, to make a dvandva samasa, anekam anyapadarthe, because the prior sutram is anekam was coming from the prior sutram, anekam. So this this uh, chate dvandva anuvritti comes from anekam. So you look at 2229 in the in the comedy here, we see that the vritti is that anekam subantam. So you have you can you can form them all together. So in that case, you know only graha will go first, remaining will go. So graha, of course, there is the gunasandhi uh, here. Marga Udhyana, Marga Udhyana, and then the like Vanani declension is, you know, you know that by now. Then Patra Pushpa Malabhi, another, another Dvandva Samasaha. Patra Pushpa Malabhi, ah, oh, there's a typo here. Patra Pushpa Malabhi it should be. Oh, let's see, what's in the book? Do we have Malabhi or? Yeah, this is a typo in the document. Oh, Malabhi. Yeah, 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 okay, okay, sorry. This is, this is a typo in the document here, I'll correct it right now. Yeah. Again, thanks to Kalpe, she has typed all this for us. So. Patra Pushra Mala Bhi Alankratani. Now Patra Pushra Mala the same thing. Um, you know Patra Pushra Mala Bhi is uh, again Chate Dvandvaha same, all, all the same thing as before. So Patra... Again Alpashtaram. Uh, I'm sorry? Again Alpashtaram. Again, again Alpashtaram will work. But here again Patra also has a Guru Sanya, Pushpa also has a Guru Sanya there. Right. Mala all has. So actually here we could put any one of them. Because all have two ach. Patra, Pushpa, Mala have two, two ach. Nothing is Gisanya, nothing is Ajajadantam. So I think we could go with any one of them first over here. I'm not seeing any reason why not. Patra, Pushpa, Mala, Abhi. Okay, I think they can all go. Patra, Pushpa, Mala, Abhi, Alankratani. Now how about Jatira Prani now? What do you think about this sutra? What do you think about that? Jatira. Even this one, it actually applies. <laughs> That's what I was wondering it why. It does. I think the same discussion right. here, isn't it? Because Patra right. is a Jatira. Exactly Jatira. same thing. Class. Pushpa is also a class and Mala also is a class. So, could Patra Pushpa? Now let me ask you a question. If you if you um, made it into into Samahara, what would, would the form be? What would be the form if you make it Samahara Dvandva in this case? Sir? It has to become Ekavat, right? Ekavat. What else? What what would be the what would be the final form? 
Let me see if Anuji has answered for us. What will be the final form? What is the, what do you think, Anuji? What's the final form? You should make it Samahara Dwan Malam. Mm. You want to make it, you might want to make it Tritya, Tritya, you want to make it Tritya, right? Oh, yeah, yes, uh-huh. What will, uh -huh. what will the Pratipadi come first? What will the Pratipadi come? Patrapusha mm. Mala, you got that. Yeah. That, remember one thing is that, Sir Napum Sakam. Yes. Sakam, that you get because it's Samahara Dvandva, Samahara Agasti, Napum Sakalingam, Sir Napum Sakam, Napum Sakalingam. And then remember, remember our, our sutra which says that Raswa Napum Sakya Pradipadi Kasya. Ah, right, yes, yes. Right, right, right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, so, neutral Pradipadi come, if it's mm -hmm. in a, it will always, if it's ending in a Ach, it will mm -hmm. always be Raswa. There is no Pradipadi in the entire language which mm -hmm. is in, in the neuter, which ending in a Dirgha. Mm -hmm. Always, always simple, simple rule. That is why you do not have any Pradipadi come. Napumsaka linge ending in a dirgha. Because Rasa Napumsaka Pradipati Katsya. Because it would then, it would then, it should then become Patrapusha Mala. Patrapusha Mala na. It will be like that. Patrapusha Mala na. Alankritani. But here again we can invoke the same rule over here. If we cannot talk about talking about a jati. Dravya Vishesh Vyakshayam to Patrapusha Mala Abhe. So by certain, certain, you know, um, uh, leaves, flowers and, 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 and garlands. Uh, okay. One more thing which, which can make it more complicated here is Pushra Mala could have been a could have been a Tat Purusha also. So it was Pushpana Mala it can be. It doesn't have to be a Tanda Samasa anymore. So we can, we, can, we can make it like that. Anyway, let's not complicate it too much because Tat Purusha next lesson. So we leave it for, we leave it for the next lesson. Of course, yes. Uh, yeah, I, I wanted to attempt uh, a laymanly opinion there. Yes. That is exactly what you answered by Tattvusha confusion. See, in the previous case, Grahamadhodaya Udhyanani, yes. as well as Patrapushka Malani, if you don't use the... No, not, not Malani, not Malani, not Patrapushka Malaha. Malani. Uh, ma, not Malani, ma, not, 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 it would confuse the samasa itself, I think. For example, in yeah, it sounds it, looks, it does sound a bit strange. Patrabushamala in a sounds a bit strange. Yeah, I must see Patrabushamala. Yes, because it, the pushpa can be the adjective for the mala. Not adjective. It will not be adjective. It will be a shashti pushpa naam mala. It will be. It will be shashti tatpurusha. Not adjective. No. It will not be, be karmadharya. No. Uh -huh. It can be when we say Pushpa Mala, yes, uh, it, it is, is the it is the necklace of Pushpa, garland of flowers, it's garland, garland of, of flowers. flowers, garland of flowers. It's the Shakti Tatpurusha. Tatpurusha. Okay. But since we're not in Tatpurusha, we can assume it's not that because in this lesson we don't have Tatpurusha yet. Okay. Yeah. So we can assume this is not Tatpurusha. Right? So but to avoid that confusion, uh, it is only Itarita Yoga that can be used. No, no. Even even if you make tatprusha, you can then we can we can make mala be there also. With tatprusha, we can make you know. Then pushya mala becomes a unit. Then pushya mala becomes one unit. Then pushya can be drawn out of it. You know. So that that's being more complicated. Anyway, so yeah, yeah. I mean, this I think jati pranayam should have a claim on this case because pat patra pushya mala is a jati. So by you know by general by general general statement. Not talking about specific ones, but since itarita yoga has been used, I think we can again go back on this one. So by, by these, you know, by specific, you know, flowers, I mean, um, leaves, flowers, and maybe garlands. Um, of course, uh, Shashti, I mean, then Tritya Bhavachanam straightforward. Alankritani, Dhatu Kru, is the Nishtavrasteha, Krita, straightforward, nothing special. And because this is a Anid Dhatu, there's no Hidagamaha. And um, because the Pratya is Krita, Lashakvata Dite, Anubandha Lopeta, it will not do any Guna because of Kiniticha. So this is straightforward, straightforward. How about, so if you want, I can put, put it over here. This Pratya is Nishtha, Taktavatu Nishtha, Taktavatu Nishtha, Taktavatu Nishtha. So Krita is Taktavatu Nishtha. Uh, uh, Sutra Nishtha is used in the Bhutya Adhikara. And then uh, this is Taktavatu Nishtha is Sanya Sutram. 
and because anidha too, you get the in nishedha by 7 to 10 and then of course also the guna nishedha by 115 115 now alam kritani alam is is what gets the gati sanya here so maybe we have the our our well known um pra nipata you know um we have the pradayaha upasarga kriya yoge gatishcha you should be studying in our daily examples so in 14 i think 56 uh, Pragrishwara nipataha, chadayo sattve, pradayaha, upasarga kriya yoge, then gatishcha. So paradis get the upasarga sanya kriya yoge, also get the sanya gati, but gati also includes other things. And ultimately what happens is that all of these go te prad dhatoho. They go before a dhatu to form a gati samasaha. So you're going to be seeing soon, they form a gati samasaha by the sutram kugati pradayaha. So that's how this whole thing works. So one more time, this Gati Sanya is not only the Pradeha Kriya Yoga. Gati Sanya is a bigger, bigger bracket. So Upasarga is only Pradeha Kriya Yoga. Upasarga Sanya is reserved for the Pradeha only Kriya Yoga. They also get the Gati Sanya, but Gati Sanya also includes many other items. And one of them is this Alam. Alam. Alam is one of them. If you look at here, somewhere will be Alam will be there. Alam, Alam, Mushane Alam. Ushane alam. So alam, because alam has many meanings. Alam doesn't mean enough. Stop with that, you know. Alam can mean capable. But here, bhushane alam, to decorate. So by bhushane alam, in the sense of decoration, decorating, this, this you got the gati sanya, 1464, then we can put trepak dhatoho, and we can we can also form the gati samasaha, by, by kugati pradeha. So I'll put one force alam kritani, Alam Kritani, we have the, the Gati Samasaha, which we have not done in detail yet. We're going to see it very soon now. So, Alam, Alam, uh, Alam and of course, the, the Sandhi that you know, Sandhi should be known to you, Alam Kritani. Alam Kritani is so 14, 14, I think it was 64. Bhushane Alam, Bhushane Alam, Bhushane Alam. So, you get the Gati Sanya, you get the Gati Samasa, you get the Gati Bhushane Alam. Now, of course, Sandhi here is the, you know, Alam, then you get the Anuswaraha, the Parasavarna Sandhi, Alam Kritani. So at the time of the arrival of the heroes, the, the, I mean, the meaning is straightforward. The, how, the houses and the streets and the gardens were uh, decorated, were decorated. This is qualifying the Gruha Margo Dhyana, the adjective, were decorated with leaves and flowers and garlands, straightforward. Okay, so that ends the Dandva Samasa Prakaranam. Again, it's not, uh, we did in quite detail, but we only do it one, one time. So I hope we've covered most of the bases. Again, this is not a science, something we have to practice. And uh, particularly between Samahara, Itarita, Yoga, a lot of, I mean, as you saw in the examples right now, the, a lot of times you might find one or the other. But the bottom line is that one thing I would conclude this one with, with reminding you one more time, is that this entire program is Niyam Artham. But Charte Dvandvaha allows us to license to form a Dvandva Samasa both in Samahare and okay, in the, did I make a mistake? Uh, yes, yes No, sir, did you make a mistake? I had a question about the previous one before you leave. The okay. Raja Ragnyo. Um, yeah. Will uh, Puman's Triya work for that? The Sutra, oh, oh, you know, oh, 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 oh. You're talking about the. Um, Raja Ragnyo. Ekashesha Samasa, is it? Well, for the. Oh, right, it comes under Ekashesha, right. Ekashesha. So, so, okay, let's look at that. That's a good question. I didn't think about that one. What number is that? Uh, 1267. 1267. 1267. 1267. Okay, Puma, we have not, Puma's Triya. Let's look at what, what, what Hindu is saying is that, let's look at Puma's Triya for a second. Is that when you have a male and female, then, you know, the only one of them, like Pitaro, Mata, Pitaro becomes Pitaro, right? Of course, there you have another sutram below that. It's a choice, but Let's look at 1267. It, uh, so it says that Tallakshana Lakshana Che Deva Visheshaha. If the, if the only Vishesha between them is the gender, so only if it's like a husband and wife, you know, a couple. Is this a couple? There's not nothing, no other Vishesha between them except for the for the for the gender. Tivruddho unite in the Striya Saha Vachane Puman Shishate Sti Nivartate. Sri pum pum sa lakshana sched evo vishesha bhavati. So the only only distinguishing factor between them is their gender. So brahmana sched, sorry, 
no. Uh, okay, the so Brahmanascha Mayura, something is a, let me, this is a typo here. Okay, let me look at my book. I think there's a typo here. Let me just look at my book. One second. So one, two, six. Right. That's a very good I, it's, it's a very good point. It's a very good point. And why not Ekashesha Samasa? Ekashesha we have not done, but that's, that's, I think it's a very good point. I, I didn't think of that one. So one, two, one, two, sixty-seven. Is that the Brahman? This is the typo here. Should be Brahmanascha Brahmanicha Brahmano Kukkutascha Kukkuticha Kukkutau. But then if you make Kukkutascha Mayuricha Mayura Kukkuta Mayuriyau. So the only only if you take like Kukkuta, you know, like a rooster and Mayuricha, a female peacock, peahen, I should say, then it become then you will not have Ekashesha because one is a rooster, one is a is a peahen. So it will become mayura kukkuta mayur yau. But brahmanascha brahmani should become brahmanau. Yes, I think it's, it's a indrani indrascha indrani cha indri indra indranyau. So pum yoga rakshaya miti aparo visheshaha. If there's some other well, vishesha between them, then no. That's what happened. But I think it's a good point. If we could probably invoke this one here. Because it will become raja now. Right? Raja cha rajanyu become raja now. Yes, this, is, this should be. If you think, let's see what Tattvabodhini says here. Uh, and this, uh, hmm. Yes, yes. The only thing I can think about here, Hindu, is that is we can somehow say that there's some other vishesha between them, not only the lingam. Hmm. Ah, right. but that's probably, that's probably not a good, it's not true. It's not true because in the word Rajni, by the way, how, how is the word Rajni formed? She's formed, I didn't, I didn't want to go into that, but that's in the Sriyamati Karha. This sutra which says, Runne Bhyonipa. Runnebhyonip, so Rajan, Runnebhyonip, Runnebhyonip. If I let's, let's form, I know they'll be doing all of this, let's form the word Rajni over here itself. So Rajni, Runnebhyonip, you take Rajan, if you want to make a, a feminine form, Rajan, Rajan plus, uh, make it into the Pratya Nip, Runnebhyonip, Runnebhyonip, Anubandha Lope, the Ikara, because of the Shakvatad Dite, Shakvatad Dite Halanjam, and now what happens is that, what's the next step in the over here, next step? You get the bhasanya. Uh, we got to get a bhasanya, right, and then, uh, yes. Allopunaha. 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 So we get the bhasanya allopunaha. Just like you have in the, in the Raj, in the Titya, of Rajan become Rajnya. Rajnya. Yeah, and so on. So when the, when the bhasanya comes, allopunaha. So the akara of the un takes lopaha. So it becomes, uh, the Akara becomes Lopaha, then of course you're going to get these Stosh Chanash Choho, so it becomes Rajni. Yes. So you get Vasanya uh, Bhajachibham, Allopo and I think 64134, and then of course finally you get the Stosh Chanash Choho, 8440. So I think you're right because here the only difference between them is a gender. So yes, yes. I think I think you have a valid point. Let me think about it some more, but I don't think how we can justify this form then. So we have not studied the the Ekashesha right now, but if you look at one two sixty seven it clearly says that that when we have, you know, a male and female, a Brahmanascha Brahmanicha Brahmanau. Then then what's the difference between this and that, right? If you take Brahmanascha Brahmanicha Brahmanau Right. Then, mm. then why not Raja Cha Rajnicha Raja now? Mm. Yes, it's a good point. Very good point. So one two sixty seven. Let me put it down here. Should I become Raja now by one two sixty seven? Raja now, Raja now, Raja now. One two sixty seven. Yeah, this this compound is like a like a like also like a landmine. You know, there's so many rules, so many rules. The Shishta Prayoga ultimately is our best guide. If we try to compose on our, on our own, you know, it's very difficult. We really have to you know look at the Shishta Prayoga. These I think these examples. You know, maybe just been composed, you know, just for like exercises. So I don't know. This one is, is a good point. I think Raja now definitely looks like a valid form. Because the only difference is gender should become, you know, Ekashesh. What's called Ekashesh, only one remains. Okay. Thank you. That's a good point. See, unless you teach, you never learn anything. If I were, you know, I would didn't I didn't think of this point. Let me highlight this one. Raja now. Now before before we go to the next lesson, I would, I would like to mention one more time that this entire section from two this 2229 gives us the license to form Dvandva Samasa in Itritra Yoga as well as Samahare. Samahare. This entire section from 242 is Niyamartham, Niyamartham, which means that some things can only be in Samahare 
some things may only be in, in Itaitara Yoga. Huh? So keep that in mind. That's most important to keep in mind about this one. And then try to tackle, you know, see what you're going to get. So this section is not required to justify Samahara Sanva. Don't make that mistake. It's only to tell when Samahara is, has to be done. And in some cases, of course, by reverse logic, where Samahara is not to be done, is not to be done. That is why 242. Otherwise, the Vibhasha is always available to you by Sarvodvanvaha, Vibhasha Ekavat, Vibhasha Ekavat. That's the Parivasha we saw in the, very, in the very beginning, we saw that Parivasha. Okay, let's start with the Dvanvaspiti Tatpurusha section now. Now, as I gave in, in the homework last time, we talked about this, that Tatpurusha start from 2122 to 2222. Easy to remember 2122 up to 2222. So let's briefly look at this section from 2122 to 22. The Adhikara starts from here, Tatpurushaha. So you can, you can slice it up into a couple of different sections. The first important section you want to break out of this. The first important session you want to break out of this is the is when it comes in the sense of when it comes in um, samadhi karane. So this from two one forty nine starts this this session samadhi karane. No, so purva kale ka sarva jarat purana navake valaha samana adhi karane. No, that means that then we can go and look at the definition of karmadharya compound. So karmadharya compounds is the um, uh, tatpurushaha samanadi karanaha karmadharyaha. So this is the experiment. This, this, remember we are in the samasa prakarana. I'm also remind, give remind, put you one more reminder for you is that the, the samasa prakarana is kind of the, the section of eka sanya adhikaraha. Akadara eka sanya. Akadara eka sanya. So normally the tatpurushaha and the karmadharya compound with sanya should not coexist. But because the karmadharya sanya is defined outside of the section, this ekasanya adhikara only goes from 141 to end of 22. So basically 1421 and 22 come in the ekasanya adhikara, 142122. But this, the sutra which I just told you, which is the tatrushaha samadhikaranaha karmadharya is defined outside that. So the karmadharya sanya sanya, they can coexist. They can coexist. So, so let's try to you know get our get our mapping down because for the next maybe two months or three months I don't know how long it will take we're going to be dealing with tatpurusha compounds. So please try to make a note of these sections and we can you know get a better. It's a small section. If you look at, if you look at the entire summary, it's a small section. I mean it's complicated because it's not black and white, but it is the number of rules are very small. But so it's not a large number of rules. So two one two two uh, up to up to two 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 is what we have to work with for, for Tatpurusha compound. If you, if you want to define any Tatpurusha compound, it has to be authorized, has to be authorized by this one sutra in this section, Tatpurusha Dikara, Tatpurusha, uh, Tatpurusha, um, Tatpurusha. So that's, of course, the first one is just the Adhikara Sutra, Adhikara Sutra, Tatpurusha. And then, as I said, from 2149, uh, you can break it out immediately right now. So right now itself, we can make it okay. I'm sorry, again, did I make a mistake? Yes, Indy. Yes, Indy, you have a question? Your hand is up. Maybe it's the hand from before. Okay. So your hand was up, Indy. So I don't know if you have a question or not. But okay. So your mic is maybe your mic. Yeah, I have a question, Satishji. Yes, yes. Okay, go ahead. Can you hear me? Yes, okay. I can hear you. Eka Yes. Hello? Yeah. I thought um, the fact that Karmadharaya is mentioned specifically in the Adhikara of Satpurusha. That is the reason we can have both, that Karmadhara no, no. can exist. Karmadhara is not mentioned in 1242, Karmadhara is defined, not here. Oh, like that, because it's defined there, though the sutras come in here. <coughs> the Sanya is defined in 1242. Right. The Sanya of Karmadhara is, Karmadhara is defined in 1242. So even though the here, sutras come here, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it's defined over okay. there, because I, because I think Pani kept it out of here to avoid this. this avoid this, okay. You know. Here, only thing that Parani says is that Samadhi Karane, no, it's all what Parani says here. Right. But this one links to 1 to 42. So when you put these, when you put these two together, basically you get the Karmadharya compound section. Now, from some 2149 to up to the end of 21, this 2172, that will be this, this, this section for the Karmadharya compound. Karmadharya. 2149. Okay. Thank you. 2149. To the to the end of two one, which is two one seventy two. That two one seventy two is all all kind of miscellaneous 
thermodynamic compounds. This is all these miscellaneous compounds come this Mayura Vamsaka others. We, we're going to see all the short. Today only is giving a brief tour of what you have to, you know, our like topography for the for the Tatpurusha section. Mayura Vamsaka this this is a like a miscellaneous kind of class of miscellaneous compounds which we will see. But so 2170, 2149 to 21, so you can break out the section right now. So this section over here is for so if you're looking for Tatpurusha compound which is not Karmadharya compound then it has to be between 2122 up to 2148 or from in 2.2, 2 .2, from 221 to 2222. So this is a section for Karmadharya. Uh, Karmadharya. 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 Okay. Now, within that, let's try to go a little bit deeper and we'll, we'll go to the book in a second, but you can just quickly look at this one. And from 2122, uh, Tatpurusha, then this is this Dvigushya. So dvigushcha. So you put the put the cha. So so let's look at two one twenty three for a second. Another sanya is coming now. Dvigushcha. Two one which is two one forty three. Dvigushcha. Dvigushcha. Two one forty two one. Sorry. Two one twenty three. Two one twenty three. Dvigushcha. Dvigushcha samasa tatpurusha sanya bhavati. The Spanish said cha. So dvigu also gets the tatpurusha sanya. So um, and because of that dvigo ho tatpurusha tve. Samasantaha Parajanam because Vigu also gets the Purusha Sanya, then that is also going to is also going to give you the um, Samasanta Pratyas can come for Vigu. So what is Vigu will come in a second. Actually what, what happens here is that the Karmadhara is a subset of the um, Tatpurushas. And the Dvigu is a subset of the Karmadharyas. So one more Viksankya Purva Dvigu. So one more time. Let's let's go to Kamudi for a second. Okay, let's let's go to Kamudi. I think because it's all will be there. Let's go to Kamudi. So this Kamudi, I think, it starts around uh, 700. Because what happened is that we are going in reverse order. This Antoine book, Antoine book is given in the reverse order. So we have to really go in the uh, back. Satpurushaha. So because see, because here the Satpurusha Samaj Karana Karmadharya. So that is coming over here. So that is Karmadharya compound. Uh, let's see, Purva Parat, this is Pujayam, uh, Shashti, Panchami Bhayena, Bahulam, Sat Purushaha. See, from here it starts. From Kaumudi from 684, starting the Adhikaro Yam Prag Bahu So Kaumudi 684 starts. Now Kaumudi, of course, is following Ashtadhyayi order. So so then, because in Ashtadhyayi order, if you look at it, is that Panini first talks about the of course, the Kevala Samasa, which we saw, Saha Supa, Sup Supa, and all that, we saw that. Then, Pani talks about Avibhava. So, Avibhava should be the, really the first one to look at. I think in the book, Dandu was taken because it's a common, simple compound. So, maybe, maybe, maybe that's for the Parajanam. But it's in the, the Ashtadhyay order, the, the, the Dvandva is the last one. It's 2 to 29 is the Dvandva, Charthe Dvandva. Before Dvandva comes Bahuvrihi, Shesho Bahuvrihi. Before Bahuvri comes the Tatpurusha Adhikaraha. And before Tatpurusha even comes the Avye Bhava. So we are going in the reverse order. When the Kaumudi will start from the Tatpurusha Adhikara from 2122. So this Kaumudi is 6, 684 number. 684 number until the Bahuvri, which will probably go down for quite a while. Um, uh, let's go to Bahulam, Karvada, Dada, Pratame, Sakibhyashtach, no, 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 because after a long time, iti neha sristayaha umshatihi bahubrihyautu. So if you go for a long time, this Patrusha Adhikaro Yam. So again, he talks about, then he takes about the Karmadharya compound from 822. It's from 822 in common, he takes Karmadharya. <coughs> so up to 828. So up to 828 in common. So 828. So starting from the 684 to 828, 684 to 828 in Kaumudi. So 684 to 828. Uh, so Kaumudi, uh, 684 to 828, Kaumudi. Uh, Kaumudi. It's also good to keep a track of that, you know, where, where we are, 684 to 828. Now also in the Kaumudi, if you want to put the Karmadharya numbers over here, we can also put that. Karmadharya numbers because I think Bhattoji starts the Karmadharya down here because uh, 
because tatpurusha samajikarana we can we can search for that 1242 the sutram is 1242 is that is the karmadharya section so 1242 1243 samasupasajanam 1242 ah, okay let's see this one is because this document is kind of new so we start searching okay let's see sanyayam dikshankhe sanyayam uh, adhikaro yam uh, I'm sorry. Give me one second. I'm just trying to find out where the Kusaptami Shaundai is. Okay, that's fine. Sanyayam, Kshepe, Purva Kali, Dikstam, Kesanyayam, Zigure, Kavachanam, Babu, Hau, Zigure, Kavachanam. Okay, give me one second. Let me, let me get the number for you. Satusha Prakaranam, okay, Ahasrari, Kritva, Acha, Purva, Ashtanaha, Anastaha. You might take a little bit before that. Prathanam, 2 to 6, 2 to, I think, look at 745. I think 745 is here. Yeah, Satpurushaha, Samadhikaranaha, Karmadhariha. From 745 in Kaumudi, takes the karmadharya compound, karmadharya compound. So from, I think it starts from your 7, 745, samadhi karna karmadharya. So um, jati yeshu karmadharya uh, 2165. Actually, you know what, even before that he has taken the, so maybe we can even start, of course, he starts with 2149 in Kaumudi. 2149 is uh, Purakar. Okay, so maybe we can take from 726 onwards. So because that is the 2149 in Kaumudi, 726 onwards in Kaumudi. The Pura Kali Ka Sarva Jarat Purana Navakevala Samadhi Karanena. From 2149 onwards, Karmadharya compounds, 2149. Okay, I'll put that in document over here from 2149. Again, they may not be like one-to-one -one correspondence. So that, that in Kaumudi is number uh, 726. So 726 onwards, 726 onwards. 726 onwards starts the Karmadharya in Kaumudi. Okay. Okay. Let's now go back to this session one more time and see what else we can pick out. So we already we picked out this from 2149 up to this uh, end of 21 is Karmadharya. Now prior to the 2149, between 2122 to 149, you know, Parnini talks about this one, Chichasuti Tatpurishaha. Panchmi Tatpurushaha and also this, you know, um, uh, Dvitiya, this is the Saptami Tatpurushaha. So in, if you look at the book, and let's go to the book for one second. In the book, we're going to see on the on the next page all these uh, compounds. First of all, in the book, he gives us, he gives us a preview, like a tour of the of the karma of this, this which, which we're doing right now. We'll go through this in a second. On the next page in the... Um, in, in Antoine, he's, he's going to talk about the, you know, Vedikarana Purusha. Vedikarana Tathpurusha, Vedikarana. Means, means not Samajikarana. So Vedikarana means there is a, there is a in relationship of case between the two terms. He says Raja Purusha becomes Rajnya Tathpurusha. Choradvayam becomes Choravayam becomes Choradvayam. Well, Vedikarana Tathpurusha, Vedikarana, means as opposed to Samajikarana. Samajikarana, we got Karmadharya. But then Vedikarana is when there is the, um, if you look at the next page in Antoine, which you're going to, which you're going to see, of course, in next, not for the next class, but here, um, let me put it like this, because uh, on the next page, Antoine, he talks about all these Dvitya Tathpurushaha, then talks about the uh, Tithya Tathpurushaha, look at all these numbers, it's all coming between 2122 and 2149, all these ones, you know, all of, all of these, except for Shashti, Shashti goes into 2.2, Shashti goes into 2.2, but all these others, Saptimi Tathpurushaha, then the Panchami Tathpurushaha, they all come between 2122 and 21, in fact, 2124 onwards. If you look at the Ashtadhyayi, just giving you a brief, we come back to this in detail, you know, in, in the coming classes. But if you look at here, uh, see Dvitiya, so first Tathpurusha Pani starts here in 2122, then Dvigushya, that's one sutram, to give Dvigyo also Tathpurusha Sanya, and then immediately Pani starts Dvitiya. So Dvitiya can compound with one of these terms to form a Tathpurusha compound, Vichya Tathpurusha. Then Tritiya Pani starts from 2130, 
दिया देन कम्स दी चतुर्थी चतुर्थी तादर तदर्थार्थ बलि हित सुख रक्षित ही देन कम्स पंचमी भय न तो पंचमी भय न एंड देन देन ही गोस गोस डाउन हियर एंड देन आफ्टर दैट पाणिनी स्टार्ट्स दी समाधिकरण न सो ऑल इज आर कवर्ड हियर देन इन द नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट वन पाणिनी हैज सूत्रम षष्ठी षष्ठी तत्पुरुष गोस इन 2.2 what i'm trying to tell you is that between 2124 to 2148 come all these which i want to see in this lesson so it's quite a small section which you're going to cover in this section in the next class so if you want to practice for homework vichatat purushah chitat purushah chaturthi you know this panchami and the saptami all come between 2124 and 2148 From 2149 start karma dharya compounds. Now Shashi Tatpurusha will start mainly from the 22. Uh, there are some special compounds. Let's just start from 21 itself. 221 itself. Even though Shashi is 228, from here itself Parni has these different things. And there's some special compounds here, but Nyan Tatpurusha is also a special compound. This is this is very special. This is not Shashi. Another some special compound. Then Shashi Tatpurusha start from 228. From two to eight, Parni starts Shashti, so that's also not a you know. And then, of course, then by the time here Shesho Bahuvrij comes from here, from two to eight to two to twenty-two, Shashti will 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 take that. So you can you can so that is that is basic tapar. So let's go to the, let's go to the, let's go to the book now and see what all he has mentioned. We'll only look at the points in you know rough detail because I mean sorry in some in not in in full detail today. because we going to be looking at those in in more more in detail actually i'm sorry one more thing i should mention is that shashti only goes up up to here up to 22 2216 and uh sorry 2217 and there at the very end of the purushas come some these very important compounds which is kugati pradaya only one sutra kugati pradaya a gati samasas very very important thing gati samasas भगवदगीता धर्म क्षेत्रे कुरुक्षेत्रे समवेता सम अवेता समवेता समवेता इज अ कॉम्पाउंड गति काम इज गति समास सो दीज आर वन मोर थिंग रिमाइंड यू दैट थिंग अंतम न समस्ते ऑलवेज रिमेम्बर थिंग अंतम न समस्ते नेवर एवर एवर मेक अ कॉम्पाउंड फ्रॉम ए थिंग अंतम नाउ हैविंग सेड दैट यू नो काशिका एंड अदर पीपल गिव सम एग्जाम्पल्स बट नाइंटी Do not compound a thing and some padam. So even though we 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 looked at this this thing just now about the pradeha, upasarga, kriya yoga, and all that, but if you are talking about compounds, then it better not be thing and some padam which is compounding. It only sup supa, only sup supa. So not thing and some. So at the end of this tapurusha section come these very special compounds. Now one more thing is this uh, I want to mention is nityam. नित्य मींस व्हाट नित्य सामस मींस दैट देयर इज नो स्वपद विग्रह वाक्य न संभवति यू कैन नॉट मेक ए व्हिच वी टेक लाइक इन गीता समवेता न सम अवइता सो व्हाट्स द विग्रह वाक्य फॉर दैट दे रियली इजंट यू कैन नॉट रियली मेक यू नो बिकॉज़ यू कैन यू कैन मे बी एक्सप्लेन इन सम डिफरेंट वर्ड्स बट देयर इज दिस इज कॉल्ड नित्य सामस मींस वाक्य न स्वपक्षे वाक्य न संभवति स्वपद विग्रह वाक्य न संभवति You cannot take the same thing and make like we say, "Ku purusha," because "kuchita purusha" is a disgusting person. So "kuchita," you cannot use the word "ku" and make the "ku purusha" as 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 so. So "nityam" also. So towards the end, from two to seventeen, is worth noting that two to seventeen, two to twenty, have these two very important sutras here, which is "kugati pradaya," "upapadam ating," like "kumbhakara," "upapadam ating." kumbham karoti ti kumbhakara this upapadam ating will spawn which is not not in this lesson but this is going to be a whole lesson on its own so, upapadam ati single sutra upapadam ating is going to connect with is going to connect with this one uh, which is the um 3192 satrapadam saptami stham satropadam saptami stham and they will connect with again a little bit of said you know too much of overview today but that will connect between the upapada samasas will come mainly between 3 to 1 and 3 to 100 so upapadam a thing upapada samasaha is 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 a is is a purusha samasaha and that will 
is also nitya samasaha, which means that you will not have sapada vigraha vakya. When you say kumbha karaha, you cannot say kumbha sya karaha, kumbha naam karaha. You have to say kumbha karoti, the kumbha karaha. So this sutram, also we say papa krutta, this papa karoti, the papa krutta, you cannot say papa sya krutta. So if it's if it's for the samasaha, you have to like deha brutta comes in Gita, right? So deham vibharti, deham vibharti, deha brutta, deham vibharti, iti deha brutta, and so on. Anyway, that's not today's topic, but I do want to mention that at the end of this two, this Satpurusha section, which of course ends in 2, 2, 2, 2, there, this Nitya Samasas is coming from 2, 1, 12 to 2, 1, 20. I'm sorry, 2, 2, 2, sorry, one more time, sorry. So 2, 2, 70 Nitya Samasa goes up to 2, 2, 20. And these two rules are very important. This 2, 2, 18, Gugati Pradeha, and 2, 2, 19, Upapadam Ating. So Shakti Satpurusha ends over here ends over here. This nityam overlaps between these two people over here. So this Kogati Paradeha, Upapadamating are very important rules. Upapadamating connects with the uh, 3192 in the Dhatu Adhikara. Dhatu which is Tatrapadam Saptamistham. Okay. Um, okay, let me just put in document here. Maybe I'll put like this in the document here. Is that the 2218-19, you know, um, 2218, which is called the Nitya Samasaha. Nitya Samasaha. Nitya Samasaha means Sapada Vigra Vakyam Samavati. Again, we are not going to see in this lesson, it's going to be coming later. But just to give you an overview of what to expect in the coming, 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 I think two or three months, I would say, maybe two months, three months, I don't know how long it will take. Nitya Samasaha. And this 2219. 219 connects to uh, 3192, so the entire section 2219 connects connects with, even there's only one sutram, connects with the Tatravapam Saptamistham. So which dhatu can compound which with, with which upapadam taking which pratyaha, all that will be will be in detail in this, in this adhikara of 3192 onwards. Even though 2219 is one single rule for upapada samasaha, we have to go to this section and um, Look at the details. Okay, let's go to the textbook now. See what we have. I think we can we can um, quickly look at it. What does it say? Is that uttar um, pradhana? Okay, this one important thing is that the pradhanatvam. Where is the importance? Is the uttar uttar pradhana? Because what's happening in all these cases is that if you look at the basic idea of this uh, satpurusha compound, the satpurusha compound is that. See, dvitiya, tvitiya, if we start from the beginning here, there is the, you know, dvitiya compound with something, tvitiya compound with something, but the pradhanyam is with that, with that second, uttar pradasya, uttar pradasya pradhanyam. When you say raja purusha, when you say simple compound, shakita purusha, you say the purusha is a pradhanyam, because the raj, rajnya purusha is only in some way qualifying, in some way describing the purusha. That's, that's all it, that it does. Otherwise, you can, so the good news is that if you have the Purusha compound, you can just take Uttarapadam and get the main meaning out of it. So this is going to be a very important thing to distinguish between a Tatpurusha compound and a Bahuvari compound. We are not, not, not done Bahuvaris yet, but the main difference here is that take the Uttarapadam on its own. Can you get the basic meaning of the compound? with just the Uttarapadam. If you can do that, you probably have a Tatpurusha compound. Between Tatpurusha and Bahuvari is always a confusion. There is a lot of confusion between Tatpurusha compound and Bahuvari compound. The most simple, simple rule is that the Tatpurusha has the Pradhanyam in the Uttarapadam. Take a like Shura, take a like, you know, Mahabahu. Now Mahabahu is a compound. If you take just the word Bahu, you will not get the meaning of Arjuna at all. There's no way to just take Bahu and get the meaning Arjuna from that. So that means that that this is not a Tatpurusha compound. In that meaning, in that meaning, if you're talking about just a big hand, then yes, that is Tatpurusha compound. So Tatpurusha compound and Bahuvari compound, if you want to have a simple test of which one it is, take the Uttarapadam and see if you can get the basic meaning of the compound. We say if you take over like, you know, Pita, Ambarha, Vishnu, we just take the word Ambaram, it can never give the meaning of Vishnu. If you're talking about also yellow cloth, 
we're just talking about the cloth itself, then you can say Pita Ambaram, get the word Ambaram, you got the meaning of Ambaram, you got the meaning of Vastram. So, so this is, yes, so this is an important, very simple, simple, simple point, very important point is that, again, this is for the most part, okay, there are some exceptions, so don't take it like that, but it will help you a lot, it will help you tremendously to distinguish between Tatpurushas and Bahuvallis. So one more time, is in Tatpurusha compound, the Pradhanyam, this is the Uttara Padam. The Pura Padam in some way qualifies that. Then we say Bana Hataha Wali. Wali, I'm sorry, Wali. So, so Bani Na Hata, Bana Hataha. So, Wali was killed with an arrow. The main thing is that Wali has been killed. Now, how he has been killed is secondary. Wali has been killed is the main thing. So, killed is the main thing. So, Bani Na Hataha, Bana Hataha. So, so that is the, always look at the Uttara Padam and see if you can get you can get a simple meaning. You know, there will always be some exceptions, but the main point is, is this one. So, Uttara Pradhanyam is uh, is the basic nature of the Purusha compounds. Because the way the sutras are given and the way the compound is is formed, <coughs> we will see as we go into more details that the, that the importance will always be in the Uttara Padam. The Pura Padam will qualify in some way. It doesn't have to, doesn't have to be adjective. Of course, the adjective is going to be karma dharya compound. But it doesn't have to be. Even we say Rajniha Purusha, it's not, a, it's not an adjective. It's, it's the king's man. The king is only qualifying the man. Not an adjective, but some connection. There's some connection with the Pura Padam. It, 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 the, the Pura Padam in some way describes something about that Uttara Padam. That's all the Purusha compound does. So the Purusha compound does. So it, it, it only describes, you know, something about the Uttara Padam. So let me could maybe look at that is the Tatpurusha compound. This is the Tatpurusha compound. Tatpurusha. Tatpurusha is um, Uttara Prapadhana. Uttara Uttara Pada Pradhanaha. And we can decipher this from the uh, sutra which we will see how these compounds are, are, are formed, what meaning are they formed. And we see that the pradhanyam will be in the padam. Again, this is for the most part. We'll have a couple of exceptions. We'll see. So pradha pradhanaha, super pradhanaha. So and this is very very useful, very useful in distinct. You can you can take this as a simple test. Go through Bhagavad Gita, go through Bhagavad Gita now and try to look at all the bahuris and the purusha. And can you can you apply this test? There are many, 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 many compounds, many compounds. In fact, let's take the Gita, very first look of Gita we can take, right here. Very first, Dharma Kshetre Kuru Kshetre, Tamaveta Ayutthavaha, Mamakas Pandavashchiva, Kimakurvata Sanjaya. Dharma Kshetre, it's a compound, it's the field of Dharma. This is a Tatpurusha compound, and Kshetra is somehow qualified by Dharma. So this is Tatpurusha compound. So just by taking the word Kshetra, you got the basic meaning of the compound. Now, as opposed to that, look at this word here, Dutarashtra Uvacha. Dutarashtra is also a compound. Now, apply the test. Can you apply the test? Look at the word Rashtram. There is no way, there is just no way to get the meaning of the king Dutarashtra by the word Rashtram alone. You cannot get it. You have to say Dhatam Rashtram Yena Saha. He is someone who just hangs on to his kingdom. To his to his office, Dhritarashtra was one who somehow held on to his office. So Dhritam Rashtram Yena Saha, who one one holds holds on to his kingdom. So there's a, there's a very good example right in Gita, very right here. See the word Bhagavad Gita itself. Bhagavad Gita itself is a compound. So it's it's a, it's a song of the Lord, sung by the Lord. So then you know, so that 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 the Gita will give you the main meaning. The Bhagavad is only somehow giving you some more information about the Gita. So that is not a Bahuvari compound. It is a Tatpurusha compound. Dhritarashtra is a Bahuvari compound. Because so Rashtra cannot tell you about the king directly. It will not give you the basic meaning of that king will not be from Rashtra. Dharma Kshetra is a Tatpurusha compound. So the Kshetra may have Pradhanya. Here is Pradhanya. So so many, so many things over here, you know, which you can you can listen. This, this is a very good, you know, um, small test for today. You can now, now, now you can, you know, look at here, drishta ketu shche kitanaha, drishta ketu, drishta ketu. I think one who has a formidable emblem, emblem. Again, ketu cannot tell you about that person. Just see the word ketu, like a flag or an emblem it probably means, and one who has, you know, like a formidable flag or emblem, 
So this is a bahu, this is a bahuvri compound because you cannot talk about the man as being the being the flag or his or his emblem or symbol. So very very important lesson for today. You can pra please practice please practice this. That's very useful in distinguishing distinguishing uh, distinguishing uh, distinguishing the tatpurushaha from the bahuvri tatpurushaha from the bahuvri. And try to unless you practice this, you will not be able to appreciate this. So take the Gita. There are many, 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 many examples in Gita. Many, many examples. Uh, again, we're not doing Bahuri compounds as yet, but if you can look at the, only the Pradhanyam and see if you can. So Bahuri, Bahuri. Okay, but okay. Let's follow the book now. This this is just on the side topic. I mentioned this to you. You know, we're not we're not doing Bahuris right now. We will get to them quite, quite you know in, in due course. Maybe but towards later on in this year we'll get to Bahuris. Um, what does the book say? So see, so that one we got. He talks about the gender. Of course, he says the first word in some way qualifies or gives some more information about the second word. You know, it's some way, some way describes it in some other way. It doesn't have to be adjective. Adjective only is karmadharya. Even if it's not, if, even if it's not adjective, it's still only in some way, you know, describing the second term. Now, the gender is straightforward. Sutra must be already saw this one before. It's paraval lingam dvanvatat purusha yo ho. It does have some, just has some vartikam, some exceptions, but the general rule paraval lingam. This also will help you distinguish from Bahuvari compounds, by the way. This will also help you distinguish. I'll give you a quick example right now. So, Paraval Lingam Dhanatatpurusha Yoho, also important sutram. Because Bahuvari compounds have the Pradhanyam in the, in the, in the Anyaprada. Anyaprada Pradhanyam. So, their Pradhanyam is outside. The Bahuvari compounds, they describe something which is not in the compound. So, Anyaprada Pradhanaha Bahuvrihi. Anyaprada Pradhanaha. So the lingam also can help you because lingam for bahuri is an adjective. Generally speaking, a bahuri compound is an adjective. It really doesn't have its own lingam. It depends on the anyapadam to get the lingam from that. While the tattusha compound, the general rule is that paraval lingam. Sorry, two four. Paraval lingam dono tattusha yo ho. Paraval lingam. Paraval lingam dono tattusha yo ho. The lingam of dwandva, which you already saw. And the Tatpurusha compound is Paravat, is like the, it's like the Lingam of Uttar Padam. When you say Raja Purushaha, forget about lingam, lingam of Raja. Of course, it happens to be masculine in this case, but it, the, the Purusha will dictate. Purusha will dictate, you know, what, 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 will, be the, what will be the Lingam of that. So, so Paraval Lingam of Purusha Yoho. Now, this is also, my look, look, look at like a trivial point, but it is important. Because again, when we, when we look at Bahuvri's later on, We'll be able to use this principle. So the more the more ammunition that you have to to decipher these compounds, the better it is for you. This this so this can also be used. This can also be used. This can also be used to distinguish in distinguishing both the Prashmapta Hobri. Okay. Let us quickly go to the uh, Gita one more time. Is the um, Chapter is two, right? Sitapranyas chaka bhasha samadhistasya keshava sitadhish kim prabhashe takima sita vaye takim. Look at this one now. Sitapranyas chaka bhasha. Now, the word pranya is a feminine, is a feminine noun. Sitapranyas chaka bhasha. So, pranyas became, you know, it became like a masculine. So, this clearly, if, 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 if this is a compound with sita pranya yasya saha, if, if prajna is going to the compound, this is not the purusha compound. It will never become prajna it will not become like that. The fact that prajna has given up its own gender and taken up a gender of some adjective, that means it's not the purusha compound anymore. You can also apply, when I just give an example, right, that pitaambara vishnu, pitaambara, it's bahuri compound because ambaram is neuter. So if, if, if it's a purusha compound, it's pitaambaram. He's talking about the avastra which will be pitaambaram, not pitaambaraha. So, so yes, this is also an important to remember, is that as a general rule, it is going to be the gender of a tatpurusha compound, just like a dvandva compound, is paraval lingam dvandva tatpurusha yoho. It will, 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 it will be like that. It will be dictated by the lingam of the uttara padam. Okay. The next thing in the book that he talks about, I mean, simple, simple points, but these are useful to keep in mind. You know, the, the more, as I said, the more ammunition that you have, the more you can make a, a, you know, educated guess on what the compound is about. Then there are various ways in which a word can specify. Accordingly, there are also various types. Now, I don't know what this is, by the way. This, I don't know what's verbal form. I don't know why it says verbal form. It's 
चिंतनीय मिदम आई डोंट नो व्हाट दिस इज वर्बल फॉर्म इज स्पेसिफाइड बाय नाउन इन एन ऑब्लिक केस आई डोंट नो व्हाट व्हाट इज दिस वर्बल फॉर्म आई थिंक इट मींस अ कंपाउंड फॉर्म मे बी आई मीन दैट दैट्स माय गेस आई डोंट नो व्हाट वर्ब बिकॉज़ नॉट अ वर्बल फॉर्म वर्ब्स डोंट कंपाउंड सो आई डोंट नो व्हाट दैट इज इफ यू नो इफ यू हैव एनी आईडिया व्हाट दैट मींस लेट मी नो बट आई थिंक जस्ट मेक इट लाइक अ कंपाउंड फॉर्म मे बी is specified by a noun in an oblique case that is in a case except the prathama resulting compound is called a case tatpurusha which is what i was just talking to you right now which we just went through that is that in the ashtadhyayi we have this section about the um the from 2 and 2 2 we started with tatpurusha and then from after one sutram was given for dvigushcha dvigu got the dvigu which in the later lesson we talk about dvigu but immediately then pani sat vitiya so a a word in the second case will compound one of these words and tritiya was started from here we will look at in the next class about these in detail chaturthi was started here panchami started here saptami came will come later on saptami shaundayi and then in 2.2 pani ni starts the shashti down here these are all what is called as the oblique case in vedikaran satpurushah vedikaran satpurushah which is of course to be to be distinguished from which is karma dharya so we should take out this section from 219 sorry 2149 to 2172 which is samadhi karane na then remaining sections barring some special ones of course like for example this one we just saw this kugati pradeha upapada mating there 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 are there, there are special compounds on their own also is this one over here nyai is also special compound so taking out these others so basically tatpurushah section if you take out the karma dharya part of it is 2149 to 212172 and take out some other special sutras in there some vishesha samasah then shesham the remaining part of it is the vedikaran tatpurushah vedikaran tatpurushah vedikarana tatpurushah means the case compound so uh, <coughs> so i can put like this maybe so so vedikaran what's called for the oblique case when the book english view oblique case the the ob so called oblique case means that samadhikarana is means samadhikarana is not there that's bottom line what that means is so oblique case satpurushah satpurushah is so you you remove this section of uh, so doesn't include doesn't include the samadhikarana section samadhikarana na It doesn't include 2149 to 2172, and then also you can also doesn't include some special compound types. But everything else really is is this uh, Vidhikarana Tatpurusha. So 2149 to 2172 is not included. 2149 to 2172 is not included, and then also not included, and also mm, and also not included. Uh, is special special samasas special samasas like you know uh, which is the 2218 a uh, 226 nainta purushah and 2218 2219 again we will go we'll go all is in detail in coming classes so don't worry but just give me your general idea 22 and 3 etc is also included in that okay otherwise remaining they are going to be in that section what's called as the vyadikarana vyadikarana tat purushah So via dikaran, via dikaran. So means via dikaran means they have. See, adikaranam means the locus, means what the word is referring to. So via dikaran means that the uh, these two words in the compound, this they're talking about two different things, not the same item. Not so via dikaran purusha means that we say rajya purusha, raja purusha means that the raja is different from the purusha. So when you say shura purusha, the shura is the purusha. so that's samadhikarana na samadhikarana which is the same same item so that's the difference between between those two so it says baan hataha wali baane na the baan is the arrow is different from wali is not the arrow that is what's called vedik so just when you say vedikarana just look at the two elements of the compound and see the talking about the same item or some different item is the is the is the locus the same or not so that's vedikarana satpurusha and then adjective qualifies a noun we already we talked about that resulting compound karma dharya that's what we look from 214 and 2172 and then the purusha samadhikarana karma dharya this sanya sutram is also we saw this outside this section of these 
समास सेक्शन सो दैट कैन को एग्जिस्ट सो दिस सत्पुरुषा समाधि करण कर्मधार्य इज संज्ञा विच विच डिफाइंस व्हाट इज कर्मधार्य कंपाउंड्स सो दैट इज व्हाट व्हाट वी हैव एंड देन ही आल्सो सेज दैट व्हेन द एडजेक्टिव इज न्यूमरल द रिजल्टिंग कंपाउंड इज कॉल्ड द्विगो दिस इज 2150 सो विद इन द सेक्शन कर्मधार्य वी हैव दिस वी हैव द सेक्शन ऑफ ऑफ द्विगो सो द्विगो लाइक पंचपात्रम so like triloki now all is all these all is this thing which we three see this is how about the ashtadhyayi how about that saptashati ashtadhyayi you know so these are how about the tripadi these are all dhigu compounds so, so ashtadhyayi is what's we're talking about it's a, it's a collection of its eight chapters eight chapters so yes the eight is in some way qualifying the chapters is a chapter is a really a collection of eight chapters it is so but so that is so that one we will see all those in detail uh, later on today is only a brief you know tour sankhya purva dvigho sankhya purva so in a in a karma dharya samadhi karanam that you have kuch sankhya purva sankhya purva dvigho sankhya purva dvigho so i just put this number for for here of course dvigho compounds have lot of some conditions on them but we will 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 we'll come to that So 2152. This is a subset of 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 the karma dharya compounds. So 2152 is sankhya purvo dhigo. 2152. 21. We'll just copy from there. 2152 dhigo compounds. So one more time is karma dharya is subset of tatpurushas and dhigo is a subset of subset of karma dharya. So uh, so of course dhigo also gets the tatpurusha sanya. Sankhya purvo dhigo. Sankhya purvo dhigo. Sankhya purvo dhigo. Sankhya purvo dhigo. Okay, that's what the book says. This is a topic of, of a later lesson, not right now. Sankhya Purva Dvigaho. Now the next thing in the in the lesson is he talks about the um, indeclinables and prepositions specify verbal forms and nouns. Again, verbal forms don't compound. Verbal forms don't compound. I don't know if you, verbal form is talking about tingantam padam. So tingantam padam, tingantam na samasthiti. Always, always remember that. If you're trying to, if you're trying to figure out a compound, if you have tingantam padam, forget about it. Tingantam padam will be a separate outside. So uh, okay. So verbal forms. I don't know what is why we put that here, but they, they specify nouns in some way. They're called the gati samasa, pradi samasa, nyantat purusha. So this nyai is 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 an avyam. We say Abrahamana. So this is not Abrahamana. Abrahamana. Nyanchat Purusha compound. That sutra which you already looked at is two one six. Totally, there's only one single sutra here, which is two one six. Sorry, two. I'm sorry, two two six. Two two six. Nai. This nai is is the sutra. This nai is an avyam, special avyam. It's basically negation compound. So nai is nyanchat Purusha is two two six, and then we already saw. The special thing which is ku gati prade ha. So ku and this this gati, gati is of course you know we saw gati is coming back there because we got the prade ha. Then um, they get upasarga kriya yogi gati shcha gati shcha. And so all these these were which are this gati sanya. They all will compound from gati samasa. So this gati samasa is is for two to eighteen and that connects with this one four sixty. Up to the prag dhato ho to 1479. So gati samasa ha will 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 be 2 to 18. The samasa vidhaya ka sutram. So 2 to 18 will be will 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 give gati samasa. Will will authorize gati samasa ha. Will authorize gati samasa ha. But then to know what which all terms get the gati sanya. But then it connects to the connects to the section uh, which is 1460, which is gati shcha. Up to Te prag dhato ho, one four seventy eight. If you want to form a gati samasa, you have to make sure that the pura padam has the gati sanya, and that is going to be given to us in one four sixty to one four seventy nine. Sorry, one four seventy nine, one four seventy nine. Okay. Ninth purusha we just said is going to be two to six again. It's not. It's only going to give an overview for today. Don't worry about it. It's going to come. All going to be coming very shortly. In detail, so ninth of Purusha is two to six is nine. Because since the book is given as a review right now, we are just following the book. So this negation of Purusha is two to 
two to six is nine. Only one sutra. Only one sutra is, is nine. Okay. So we'll we'll come to these later on. Now uh, I'm sorry. Uh, next thing in the book that he talks about is the um, Upapada Samasas. Okay. Upapadam Ating. Upapadam Ating. Only one sutram. Upapadam Ating. We already put in document here. Upapadam Ating is this one, 2219. This connects with 3, 2, with etc. And this is the Upapada Samasa. Upapadam Ating. Upapadam Ating. The basic simple test. So Upapadam Ating, let me tell you two things for today. Not today's topic, but Upapada Samasa is that. The Uttara Pradam will depend, it's a Nitya Samasa, which means that you cannot split up the two like Kumbha Kara, you cannot say Kumbhasya Kara. If you can say Kumbhasya Kara, it is not a Upapada Samasa. So one more time, in Upapada Samasa, there will be a some Dhatu with Pratyeha in the Uttara, as the, as the Uttara Bhaga. And that will not have Swatantriyam will not have independent existence. So that is the test of the Uttarapada, of the Upapada Samasaha. If we take the second half of the compound, if we take out the Uttarapadam, the Purapadam, the remaining part will not be, cannot stand on its own without the Upapadam being there with it. So you cannot say Karoti Tikaraha. You cannot say that. Second thing is that in the Vigraha Vakyam of Upapada Samasaha, you see a Tingantam Padam. In the Vigraha Vakyam of a Upapada Samasaha, you see Tingantam Padam. Generally, in the Vigraha Vakyam of a Tatpurusha compound, they will, or as a matter of fact, any compound, as a matter of fact, you will generally not see a Tingantam Padam. Like we say, you know, we just saw, right? So, so pāṇi ca pāda ca pāṇi pādam. I mean, there's no tingantam pādam over here. There's no verbal form. But, we say kumbham karoti to kumbhakāra. So, in the vigra vakyam of the compound, you have a tingantam pādam. If you can spot that. Because, you know, when you when looking at, let's say, Gita or Ramanam or what Bhagavatam, you know, Vedavashyam, whatever you're doing, there will be a commentary. In the commentary, you have the vigra vakyani. The simplest way to learn for samasa is go through the commentary and look at all those compounds in which there is a tingantam padam in the vigra vakya. Now that is most likely for the samasa. Again, this is not today's topic. Let me just put these two points here. For this, let me put these two points. Is the is first of all is that the upapadam is required. So the the the, the latter half, I'm putting latter half, because I'm not saying Uttara Padam because there's a complication here. Because Kumbha Karaha, the word Kara doesn't have the Pada Sanya. It still compounds. We'll, we'll, see, this in, we'll see this in detail while this. And that's, a, that's a latter half. The, 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 you know, the, uh, let me put it like this. So the remaining part of the compound, remaining part of the, of the compound, which means after removing the pura padam, so removing the pura padam, the pura padam, removing the pura padam, this will not have pura padam, cannot stand on its own, cannot stand on its own. It requires the, it requires the upapadam on its own, it requires the upapadam to be there, to have existence. Its existence depends, its, its existence its existence depends on the upapadam, on the upapadam. If you can test that, you know, there is dharma kshetra, simple compound. It is not upapadam compound because you can take the word kshetra and you can stand on its own very nicely. There is nothing wrong with that. When you say, you say raja purusha, this is not upapadam compound. You can take the word purusha and can, you can get complicated. You can say, you, say, you can say dhanur dharaha. So dhanur dharaha, is this the upapadam compound? It is not. Because we will see later on that the word dharaha can, can be formed with a pratyaha, dhatu, dhru, you can say dharati iti dharaha, dharati iti dharaha. If you can say that, then this is not upapada compound. Upapada compound is such that the upapadam is required, is required in order for that remaining part of the compound to exist. 
this is one. And the second thing as I mentioned too is that in the Vigra Vakyam of Upoda Samasaha, very, very useful, very, very useful. In the Vigra Vakyam, you should try to decide from the Vigra Vakyam, is this Upoda Samasa or not? In fact, now it's also a homework. You can go to the Sridhar Vashyam of the Gita. Go to the Bhagavad Gita, the Sridhari Tika, very, very wonderful Tika, Sridhar Swami. And spot every Samasaha which has Tingantam Padam in the Vigraha Vakyam. And those will be the Upada Samasas. So, so in the Vigraha Vakyam, in the Vigraha Vakyam of Upada Samasaha, of Upada Samasaha, they will be, they will be, a, generally will be a um, Tingantam Padam. They will be a verbal form. There will be a, I mean, it's all, there might be some exceptions to this, but for the, for, you know, for the most part, for the Samasa, don't take these as, you know, 100% rules, but this, this will work most of the times. For the Samasa, there will be a, there, there will be a, uh, and vice versa, will be a Tingantam Padam, a Tingantam Padam, so Tingantam Padam, Tingantam Padam. Okay, so this is just, uh, this is not today's topic, we'll, we'll, there will be a whole lesson on, on the Samasa later on. You're going to have a whole lesson afterwards, but just putting this some small note for today, because you can use all these all these points and start flexing your samasa muscles now, you know, and see what all you can find and, and explore on your own to 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 make some you know have some fun, have some fun. Samasa hi ananda, the ananda samasa you can take by by noting all these points. Okay, now I know the time is almost up. We have so then some krut pratyah has added to verbal rules. This is what we just talked about. On the condition, this was this condition that some other word can be attached to them, resulting compound upad samasa. Ukrut pratyaha, just to remind you, it starts from the section which says the kud a thing, kud a thing, kud a thing. So all these pratyahas which are being used to form upad compounds. So all these compounds which are being used to form upad compounds, they're all kud pratyaha. So because Krud a thing is the Anantaram Sutram because first we have Akud Dhato Adhikaraha, it starts from 3191. Next Sutram is, of course, the next one, Tatro Bodham Saptam Istam, Tatro Pa Padam Saptam Istam, Krud a thing, Krud a thing. So, yes, Krud Pratya will be used with some Dhato to form this kind of compound which depends on the Upadam being there. So, Krud a thing. Okay, so that's what the book is saying is that the krut prat, some krut pratya will be used because this krut a thing is the adhikara which is running there on the condition that some other word and this group of samasas. Now let me just give you some homework now because we are out of time. So this now I think Antoine is going to take this this section of this samasantaha. Samasantaha. So here I'll give you some numbers and we can do some homework for next time. And next time we will we will we will we will do these. We'll take some examples here. Some of these are very simple. Some of them might require some steps. You can practice on your own uh, to, to these forms. And next time we'll also start start diving into the we start going into this part. So if you can practice this one also, which I just told you, section from 2124 onwards up to 2148, we can try to look at that. And if you really are enthusiastic, you can also look at the section of Shakti that Purusha from 2 to 8 onwards. So, okay, so for homework, let us look at this one, uh, this last four points on this page, which is the Samasanta Prakaranam. Samasanta Prakaranam, which we, if you look at it over here, the Samasanta house started from uh, 3, I think, uh, 5, 4, uh, 68, Samasanta, and then, and within that, Panini starts this thing of Tat Purusha Tat Purushasya. So Tat Purushasya, we see also next time in detail. Tat Purushasya, Panini goes up to this one, with, right up to the Kumahad Bhyam Nitarasyam, which is right before the Dvandva Chu Darsha. We already used this for Dvandva, only one sutram, we saw that. But so from 5486 to 54105, so 5486 to 5485, Samasanta Prakaranam devoted to devoted to the Purushas. So five four eighty six to five four eight to five four one oh five is the Samasanta Dakaranam Patat Purusha compound. So Samasantaha so Samasantaha Pratyaha which come after Samasantaha and then also Tat Purushasya Tat Purushasya so Tat Purusha compound. Yadikara goes on Tat Purushasya Tat Purushasya. Okay. 
Tatpurushasya, Tatpurushasya. Now, here are these points in the book. This point number um, one, Anguli. Look at five four eighty six. Okay, five four eighty six. Now, these don't worry about these compound types right now, because this is not. We are not done these yet. This is a Paradi Samas. So don't worry exactly how this compound was formed. You can just look at five four eighty six and just try to appreciate what's happening at the end of the compound only. Don't get bogged down into how this was formed. We don't know how to form this yet. Then Go becomes Gava is 5492. This is, this is, this is a straightforward compound. For, this, this is a Karmadharya, adjective noun compound. So 5492. This is a Karmadharya compound. Niranguli is a Pradi Samasaha. No, Ratri becomes Ratra is 5487. 5487. Also look at 2429. For those of you who have Bhaimi, look at Shastriji in volume 4, page 159 for a good good detailed example. Okay? Then Raja has such a very important sutram. In fact, in Gita, very first page of Gita is that Kashi Rajascha Viryavan. Very first page of Gita, Kashi Rajascha Viryavan. Kashi Rajascha Viryavan. Here it is, Kashi Rajascha Viryavan. So when you recite Gita, Next time we recite Gita, on the very first page of Gita, Kashi Raja became Akaranta. This is Raja, Raja Sakhi Vyascha. Tach, Raja, Ahan and Sakhi, they get the Patya Tach, Raja Sakhi Vyascha. Raja, Raja, Sakhi Vyascha. Raja, Ahan and Sakhi. So Raja, Raja, Sakhi Vyascha. So that's the one over here. That is the this one, Rajan, Ahan and Sakhi. And then Ahan becomes Anna. See when you will look at 5488. 5488. And good example for you, I think Shastriji, you can look at um, page volume four, page eighty seven, <coughs> also volume five, I think it's an example page three fifty three. So Sutram is five four eighty eight and we stop with that now. So five four eighty eight. So, uh, yes, 5488, anno, anna, etebhya, 5488. Please do your homework. We are only taking a few rules, only because the section goes from 5486 to 54105. We are only taking this 5487. We are taking 5488. <coughs> we are taking 5492. And then we are taking 5486, of course. We are taking that one. And uh, what else did we take? I think that's all we are taking here. But we're only taking a sample of these, not, not all of them. So 5488, 5487, 5492, 5486, and 5491. Rajas Takibhya Okay. So next time we'll go into details. Ramo Raja Manish Sada Vijayate Ramam Ramesham Vijay Rame Na Vyata Nishachara Chamu Ramayata Tasmai Namaha Rama Nasti Parayanam Padataram Rama Sada Sotmiyaham Rame Chitta Res Sada Bhutame Bhurama Mamudhara Rama Rame, Ti Rame, Ti Rame, Rame, Mano Rame, Sahasanama Tatsuliyam, Rama Nama Varanane, Shri Rama Nama Varanana, Om Namah Iti. How are you doing, what's